Now look, I think Adam Cole is a decent talent. Do I think he's some transcendent, game-changing talent? No. In today's professional wrestling business, is he a decent talent? Somebody that I would want in my company somewhere with some type of you know, semi-important role? Sure, why not? He could certainly, in my opinion, do a lot worse. Even though at times it feels like the WWE, and sometimes the way they featured him and booked him, uh, have done the worst by him. But nonetheless, this is just crazy to me. This news broke over the past 24, 48 hours or so about how Adam Cole, contrary to previous beliefs, is not locked into a contract with WWE long term. And in fact, his contract is set to expire at this very moment at SummerSlam or right around SummerSlam week. How the hell does this happen? Who's running the shop here? Who's booking this shit, basically? Because this makes absolutely no fucking sense at all on a variety of different levels. Look, you could agree or disagree with what I just said about Adam Cole and his talent. That's fine. I don't really care. It's not particularly relevant to the conversation that I'm putting forth here. What is relevant, though, is at a time where you have somebody in the industry like AEW seems to have positioned themselves to be bringing in both a CM Punk and a Daniel Bryan, building on some momentum that they already are possessing. Now you're in a situation that you've got another guy, in this case, somebody that's still currently with you, that would be tailor-made, perfectly suited for AEW, their brand, their product, their fan base, their identity, and all of that. And in any way, shape, or form, you're looking at potentially putting a risk out there unnecessarily, idiotically, that he could potentially jump ship and go to a competitor. The fuck is actually going on here? I mean, seriously. Like, I look at this, and I'm going to um, Mark Middleton's story on Wrestling Inc. says that WWE executives are reportedly surprised and frustrated over the Adam Cole contract situation. How are you surprised? You're the fucking company! You don't know when the hell your talents have contracts? You don't know how long they last for? Who's running shit here? Like, peep this out. As noted before, Wrestling Inc. exclusively reported on Sunday night that Cole's WWE contract will be expiring later this month. Cole's contract was rumored to expire in 2024. Apparently that wasn't true. But it will now expire after SummerSlam. The deal was actually up after the WWE NXT Great America Bass special on July 6th, but Cole extended it. In an update, PW Insider reports that the realization of Cole's contract expiring took a number of WWE executives by surprise, as it was believed by some that he was locked in through at least January 2022, while other rumors had him with the company until 2024. It was also noted that people within WWE were frustrated that Cole's contract status became public. Let's stop right here for a second. You're frustrated that it became public. Who the fuck's fault is that? You put yourself into this situation where this is even a discussion, even a possibility. You deserve to have this go public because you deserve to look like bumbling, stumbling, fuck-up morons like you do here. Let's rewind for a second. There were people, executives in WWE, surprised at the status of Adam Cole's contract, even though he apparently just had a contract expire that he just extended to take him through SummerSlam week, and you don't know when the hell his contract ends! Who's running the show here? Like all this talk that you'll hear the defenders of WWE talk about when it comes to 
well, they're a well-run company and they do business and they know business. This doesn't look like good business to me. You don't even know who's under contract for when and how long. The hell's going on here? How do you miss such what seems to be a fundamentally important detail like Adam Cole's contract status? God! And to be in a situation where you can potentially have him jump ship and go somewhere else is just peak WWE stupidity. And we've talked about this with the Daniel Bryans. We talked about this with the recent release of Bray Wyatt. You're basically handing them over to the competition. Why would you take all of this time, energy, effort, and investment of resources and money and everything else that you've put into these guys for years just to sit there and say, here you go, Tony Khan, have at them. Does that make any goddamn sense? No! Adam Cole is not some game-changing star. But Adam Cole is absolutely somebody that on that NXT brand is one of the featured players on that brand. He is one of the top dudes. He is one of the top guys on the show that gets two hours of national primetime cable television every Tuesday night. It's probably not a good idea to just let those guys leave for nothing because you're a bumbling, stumbling moron. But apparently WWE has put themselves in a position where this can potentially happen. Why would you sit there and put any of this at risk? And then there was another updated story here from Wrestling Inc. talking about uh, most people within the company, including Cole, hope to keep the contract situation quiet. Frankly, why would Adam Cole want to keep that contract situation quiet? Why wouldn't he want that out there with AEW or New Japan or anybody else? Why wouldn't he want to get more leverage? So I don't know that I'd buy that. That sounds totally fucking stupid to me. That sounds almost as stupid as what WWE has put themselves into at this position. Um... You know, then I see this other thing talking about uh, where it is now that Adam Cole has not been formally offered a new full-on contract by WWE as of today, according to Fightful Select. However, a source of influence within WWE noted that a new contract offer is obviously planned. Is it though? Is it obviously planned? Maybe it is. And maybe ultimately... They back up the truck with enough money to say, you know what, Adam Cole, forget, fuck flexibility and going elsewhere and other options being open. We're going to pay you enough where it doesn't make any sense to go. That could happen. But at this point in time, you can't tell me that something is obviously planned when apparently it was news to several executives within WWE that Adam Cole's contract was set to expire later in August. How the hell do they have something obviously planned when it's obviously they're dumb dicks and they didn't even know his damn contract status? Does that make any damn sense? Hell no! Ding dong, dumb dicks! That sounds like bullshit! Am I taking crazy pills here? Am I the only one that sits there and says bullshit on all of this? We'll see how this plays out ultimately. But if I'm Adam Cole... I'm in no hurry to sign a new deal. If I'm Adam Cole, I'm certainly not trying to sign a new deal with WWE uh, before my current one expires. Why would you? Why cut off your hand to spite your face? Why undercut your uh, leverage? Why kick out your legs from your legs like that? Right? Right? Why not go out there as a free agent? Why not go out there and pit the others against them, against themselves. Why wouldn't you do that to drive up the price and get yourself the most leverage and the most negotiating power and the best possible offer for whatever Adam Cole feels is valuable? Like his ladies there in AEW already, like that's already one foot in the door for him if he so desires. Like why would he re-up with the WWE at this point? And frankly, to me, if I'm in his position, I know I can go somewhere else, get very well paid. Be in a different environment, different situation, be closer to my lady on a more consistent basis. Like, you know, I realize NXT down floor, blah, 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 blah. but you get what I'm saying. Like, why would he? And if you're looking at it just from, you know, what company is coming across as being more well run at this point from a blocking and tackling X's and O's standpoint, it certainly isn't WWE.
People are going to point to oh, the record revenues and the record profits and all that other crap. But you look at the decisions that are made and you look at the things that they are doing. They do not speak to a well-oiled machine. They do not speak to Titan Towers being on top of their game. They just don't. Because if they did, Adam Cole would have already been re-upped for a long-term contract that he inevitably would have released him from a year and a half into. That hasn't happened here. Somebody in that company obviously had to work with him to extend his deal through SummerSlam, but yet they thought his contract ran through 2022, or in some cases apparently 2024. But hell yeah, they've got a contract offer obviously planned. Like, I mean, why in the fuck would you want to be around that level of incompetence? Why would you want to put yourself in a situation where you know you're going to be capped in WWE? That's no cap. You know that you're going to have a limited ceiling no matter what you do or don't do. You know that you're going to put up with other stupidity and bullshit just like this here. Frankly, at this point, for any of these talents in WWE... I don't know why the hell they would stay unless you're at the absolute top of the pecking order, absolute top of the ladder. Like somebody like a Roman Reigns makes no sense to go anywhere. Somebody like Drew McIntyre makes no sense to go anywhere. Bobby Lashley makes no sense to go anywhere. You know, guys like that, they've got their place. They're good. They're not going to have it better anywhere else. But a lot of these other dudes... Like Adam Cole could probably get similar or even more money from AEW than he's currently getting on his WWE contract. He get more flexibility where he can work in Japan, he can work in other places, which allows him the potential to earn even more money, move more merchandise. And to me, I'm sorry, the decision is not that hard. And if you want to talk about platform and this and that, yes, it's nice. WWE has a superior distribution operation, both nationally and internationally and via the internet and social media, that you can't dispute, no matter how much you might love AEW. That's just a fact. And you look at the number of millions of homes that Peacock is in, like that type of stuff matters, and that does help increase your platform, especially if a guy like Adam Cole is trying to branch out into acting or something else down the road. So it's not a total cinch that you automatically think it's a better situation to go elsewhere, but AEW is building that infrastructure up. It might take them time. You know, WWE is coasting on the two decades of a lack of real competition, the name recognition obtained over decades, and blah, 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 blah. But at some point in time, that can only carry you but so far. And we're seeing some of those chickens come home to roost here and now. How stupid can you be to invest so much in this guy for so long and run the risk of potentially losing him, not because he necessarily wants to go anywhere else, but because of your own incompetence and stupidity? the hell is going on in WWE? This is just harebrained, that's for damn sure.